hi guys you're welcome to my channel so today we'll be learning how to pad our bustier i've gone ahead to cut out my patterns and as you can see i added paper stay to my fabrics and also indicated my bust point on the bust and waist so that you guys will understand so now you fold your center front just like this you notch your bust point line And you also fold your sides as well you notch so guys i'll be using my wording to pad my bustier so we have the gummy part and we have the part that is normal so i'll be placing my fabric on that gummy part and i'll be placing it on the under bust line just like this place it on that under bust line and i'll go ahead to cut After cutting this is what it looks like and for the sides I'll be cutting two pieces so what I did was fold my wording into two and I'll just be cutting out some part that I need so now I'll be placing my fabric on the wording on that underboss line I'll place it on it just like this and I'll go ahead to cut after cutting this is what it looks like i will take that off and now there is no measurement for it you just trace to the underboss line you try to curve to the underboss line so this is what it looks like so i'll go ahead to trace it on the other parts So now I have my sides ready, my wording on each side ready. So after cutting, this is what it looks like. So you know we'll be attaching our line into it. So we need to take out half an inch on all of the sides. So on the center front, I'll chalk out half an inch. I'll go ahead to cut it. And I'll do the same thing for the side. Chuck out half an inch and cut it off. So after taking my half an inch off on all the side, this is what it looks like. So I'll go ahead to iron it proper on the fabric. So guys, after ironing, this is what it looks like. So what I'll be doing now is joining my side to the center front. You make sure the notched parts are meeting each other. So now you place them together and you go and stitch half an inch make sure they are together stitch half an inch and you do the same thing for the other part make sure the notched parts are meeting each other and you stitch half an inch so i'll go and stitch after stitching this is what it looks like so i'll be notching the stitched part now after notching you go ahead to open it up just like this as you can see i've not ironed and it is standing already so guys as you can see this is what it looks like before ironing that is the inside so now i'll place my ironing ball on it and i will open the seam line and iron proper you need to take your time to iron you iron it up so what i do is place a paper stay on that seam line and i'll go ahead to iron this makes your boss curvy it gives a very nice shape to your boss take your time and you iron after doing this you can see this side is curvy already but the other side i have no iron you can see how it is you can see the difference right so i'll do the same thing for the other part i'll place my paper stay and iron guys look at how my bustier is looking it is it has a defined shape already so guys i'll go ahead to iron the front part gently massage your iron on that front part after doing that we are done with the padding guys look at how our bustier looks like hope this video is helpful Please like, share, comment and subscribe.
Bye.